Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Can you hear me, everyone? Yes, good evening. Sure. I can hear. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you, everyone? Uh -huh. How do you feel today? I feel great, teacher. Very good. That's attitude. Let's see. I can see Nelson too. Hello, Nelson. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. How was your day? It was a little easy. Ah, that's great. Good for you. Very yes, good. Teacher. And let's see, I can see Holman. Hello, Holman, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how do you feel today? Hi, uh, I am fine. I, a little bit tired, but I am, I am fine. Okay, very good, very good. And let's see, how was the traffic today, everyone? A lot of traffic or not traffic? At the afternoon, it was so stuck in the street, on the really? street. Yes, but I I come back to home at maybe 7, 7.30. It was a really relaxed. I, I traveled to San Vicente, to San Salvador, from San Vicente to, to San Salvador, and it was relaxed. Mm, okay, that's good. <laughs> well, at least a little bit. Okay. And how is the weather or what's the weather tonight in your cities? Is it raining, everyone? In Zacatoluca City, it's hot. Zacatoluca is hot. Yes. All right. Okay. Yeah, in my city too. <laughs> it's terrible. How about you, everyone, in your cities? Is it raining or not? Raining, maybe, maybe fire. <laughs> <laughs> maybe fire, huh? Yes. Well, look at the bright side. If it is not raining, the connection is much better. <laughs> so we don't have so many um, interferences. But I hope the weather can improve, but after the class, all right? That after the class that rains a lot, but not during the class. Okay, let's see. Welcome everybody and thank you so much for being on time. I'm really happy to see you here. And I can see Gabriel. Hello, Gabriel, how are you? How do you feel tonight? Hi, teacher. How are you? Survivor. Survivor. Surviving. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> but do you feel a little bit better tonight? Excuse me? Do you feel better? Um, yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, I hope you can get better soon. Well, everybody, welcome to the class. Today is Tuesday, and today we are going to have a lot of practice, so I hope all of you are ready to participate. I know that you may be tired. I know that uh, sometimes, imagine in this moment you could be sleeping, but here you are because you are trying to learn. Okay, so let's take advantage about it and try to participate, okay? Do you remember the topic that we studied yesterday? Anyone? Oh my gosh. Yes, basic of branding. Aha, very good. Excellent. And what else? What else do we talk about yesterday? Mm-hmm. 
My goodness. <laughs> so you don't remember. Remember, we practiced asking questions, right? And that is the topic that we are going to practice today. I'm going to take some minutes of every class for the rest of the week in order to improve that topic. Okay, so by Friday, all of us will be experts in the topic asking questions. Okay, so I'm the end of the class. I'm going to share a couple of uh, links that you will be able to use if you want to practice that topic. Okay, so let's try to make an effort. Let's try to give an extra mile so we can improve that topic. In order to improve, we need to practice. The more you practice, the more you will learn. Now, let me share the a presentation. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes, sure. Excellent. Very good. Very good. So today is April 18. We are in the week number four, unit number three. And today we are going to talk about always branding we are going to see some vocabulary, okay? I don't want to, well, I don't want you to get bored about this topic, okay? So I'm going to try to be very brief about this topic and then we are going to move to the practice. So this is the class objective. I need a volunteer for reading it, please. Would I try to teacher? Yes, please. Class objective. Ob objective identify vocabulary related to branding very good thank you so that is what we are going to do but also everyone as an extra um, class objective we are going to practice the information questions but only in the simple present today we are going to practice asking question in the simple present tomorrow in the simple past Okay, so the idea is that we can be expert asking questions in all the grammar tenses. Now let's start. I have here some vocabulary about brands. If you got your manual, this information is in the page 28. Okay, so let's go to the manual, page 28. What you have to do is to unscramble the words. This is a little bit uh, easy, so no worries. Look at the first one. Try to put the words, the letters in order. Hmm, what do you think? What is the word? Identity. Ah, very good. So it's identity. Can you read please the definition? Yes, the way people recognize the brand, it's maybe through the logo or other associate visuals. Very good, thank you. So that is a word, brand identity. What is that? That's the way that you as a customer recognize a brand. So for example, Apple. You immediately recognize Apple because of the logo. Or for example, the phrase, just do it. Immediately, you identify that that phrase is for Nike. So that is brand identity. Now, number two, put the letters in order. What is the word? Im image. 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 Yes, very good. That's the one. Can you read the definition, please? Me? Yes. The idea of the brand that people develop in their minds and what they expect for the brand. Very good. So basically, the difference between identity and image, image is the concept that you have about the specific brand. Number three, unscramble the word. What is that? 
Can I? Yes. <laughs> Personality. Oh my gosh, very good job. So we have a brand personality. So what is that? Read the definition, please. It is emotional or personal qualities that customer associate with a particular, a particular brand. Very good. So those are the feelings or emotions that a specific brand makes you feel. We are going to see some examples later on. Number four, volunteer for reading. Experience teacher. Which one? Experience. 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 Huh? That is the one. Very good, Hector. Can you read the definition, please? Of course. Uh, brand experience. I can be combination of everything that a customer goes through while purchasing and using the brand. That brand, and sorry. That brand, excellent, thank you. So when we use a brand, we can have different experiences, positive or negatives. Yeah. We're going to see some examples later. And the last one, what is the correct word? Hmm. It's difficult. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. I'm going to give you a clue, okay? It starts with the letter D. Differentiation. Different. Ah. <laughs> you are a winner. <laughs> no, you. Yeah. For, a, for, a, for a few seconds, you're a winner. Both, 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 both. <laughs> no, but look, Mirna, you are very good at unscramble the words, mm -hmm. right? She very fast identified the words. Nice. Okay, so brand differentiation. So, but what is that? Can you read the definition? A volunteer or Mirna? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> this is how brand stand uh, out in the crowd. Very good. Stands out in the crowd. That means that they are always on the top. Okay. That it doesn't matter. There are a lot of competitors. There is something that makes these brands unique. All right, so here we got different vocabulary, brand identity, brand image, brand personality, brand experience, and brand differentiation. Let's see some examples. In the brand identity, what is that? Do you remember? What was brand identity? So I'm yes. going to give you I'm going to give you an example. Do you know what is the name of that brand? Pringles. Ah. <laughs> okay, give me a number. <laughs> Sorry. Give me a number. Number six. Okay. What is Amazon. the name? Amazon. Ah, okay. Hey. Another number, please. Four. Okay. What is that brand? PlayStation. PlayStation. Ah, very good, very good. Funny device. The, one, the ones that are gamers, they immediately recognize the brand. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the ones who doesn't play video games, they are like, what? What is that? Okay. Me, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you give me another number, guys? Uh-huh. Two. Two. Oh, Taco Bells. <laughs> ah, nice. How about this one? Adidas. Aha, uh -huh. yes. very good. And the last one. It's a hot. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Imagine, in this case, these are just the logos. There is any name here, but just because of the logo, you are able to identify a brand. That's the meaning of brand identity. You just recognize the brand because of the logo, okay? Now, how about brand image? Look at this one. Do you know this brand, right? What yes, is your I do. what is your opinion about this brand? Uh-huh. Is that a good brand? It's negative, you like it, you don't like it, it's too expensive, or what I don't know. So, what do you think? What is your opinion about this brand? In my in my case, teacher, my opinion for this brand is it's a good option for see movie for watch movies because you have to you have to watch the movie um from the start to the movie the difference be, between netflix and uh, cable 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 mm -hmm. cable or cable cable you can say cable okay the difference between both is in Cavalier, you have to see the movie when the movie is started. Yes, in Netflix, you can choose the movie. Uh -huh. When Very the movie good. is beginning, you can choose the languages, you can choose the scenes, and uh, everything related to the movies. That's it's better. Great. Netflix is better related with movies. That you watch on TV regularly, right? On the TV channels. That's good. What else? Another opinion, guys, that you have about Netflix? For me, it's good to share because I replace a Blockbuster. You remember Blockbuster when you I do. rent a <laughs> re uh -huh, when you rent a video a film. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's, it's very negative because you can see uh, all the time that you that you want. Very good. Yeah. All right. That's good. So if you see the opinion that you have about this brand, that's the brand image. Some people can think, oh yeah, Netflix is good. Netflix is a good option. But some other people might think, nah, it's better Disney Plus. Or nah, it's better HBO. Or ah, Netflix is too expensive. Or nah, the movies that are on Netflix are boring. I don't know. So some of you can have a very positive concept. Some of you may have a very negative opinion. That is the brand image. So is it clear the difference between brand identity and brand image? Is it clear? Yes or yes, not? Yes, sure, it's clear. Excellent. Now, what is brand's personality? This means the emotion that a brand makes you feel. For example, look at this picture. What comes to your mind when you see this brand? What just makes you feel? Just peace, just. <laughs> ah, so you see immediately you think about some video games. Mm -hmm. especially the video games that we played when we were children, right? So it gives you a little bit of nostalgic, maybe. Mm -hmm. Another emotion that makes you feel this brand? What do you think? When I use the uh, get, remember, it's similar, uh, I'll say, uh, recuerdos. What is Mem the, the, the memories? The memories. I uh -huh. mm -hmm. good memories about this this brand because when 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 was when I was children. Uh -huh. 
A uh, child? No, no, children, young, young. Young, uh, young or a teenager. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, play this, this device, but now my own device. <laughs> uh, my friend have I I uh, in, in this in this time um, we we can cannot get this device because it's very expensive for my economy family. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I, I, I uh, get members. Good members. Good memories. Memories. Good memories. All right, so you see, this brand transmits you some emotions. Again, for some of you, can be positive emotions. For some others, could be like, mm, no, I never had Nintendo, so eh, it's the same. So it's depend on each person. How about the next picture? What emotions do you feel when you see this brand? Teacher, I want to share our memories about Nintendo. Ah, go ahead. I want to share. I remember when I was a teenager, I played Nintendo with, I don't, I don't know how, how it's machines called. It's a bigger machine uh, when you, when you were, where you play fighters, fighters with Mortal Kombat. Oh my gosh. I remember <laughs> that a few years ago. <laughs> a few years ago. Yes, yeah, a said. few, maybe <laughs> a few. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> but are you talking about those machines that you can see, for example, in the Las Fiestas Patronales? I don't know if that the big yeah. box that you yeah. insert some coins so you play. Is that the one that yes, you're talking like about? In like that, what is the name of that of that machine? Actually, I don't even know what's the name arcade, in Spanish. <laughs> Arc uh, arcade, uh, similar. Arcade, arcade game. Mm -hmm. We we just call that uh, maquinitas. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. In Spanish, <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> machine. <laughs> I know, I know, uh, but but in English, ah. Uh, I will say consoles, maybe. I in will the, I will search for it. In the in the eighties, sounds and um, soccer fields, um, machines like that with uh, with music. Ah. I don't know what is the name of that too. I remember this the song uh, the the love heart. <laughs> Rocola, you say Rocola. Rocola. Ah, yes, exactly. That was the one. Okay. Some few years ago, right? Only a few years ago. <laughs> Yesterday. <laughs> yes, a few. Back, oh my back gosh. Though, 80s. A yes, few. <laughs> I think yes, I, yes. I wasn't born yet. Uh huh. Tell me. Ah, uh, I, I, the loading the play store. Uh huh. Uh, uh, up the uh, M Super 64. Um, uh, the fight, the fight game, the Super Mario Metal Slug, uh, M 64. Uh, uh, one whole, uh, how the one thousand game. So you, can, yeah. you can download that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my yeah, god. In Play Store, there's a uh, one thousand game in oh my god. the barrier. Metal Slug, Super Mario, uh, all the gay uh, uh, Donkey Kong. That's great. So everyone, <laughs> if you want to, you know play those games again so you can download it up and you can reveal these moments very good very yeah. good excellent okay look at the next picture so if you see all of you were expressing emotions the feelings that this brand makes you feel now let's see a more national brand what emotions comes to your mind
Nostalgic. I remember my high school. <laughs> my high school. My high school uh, was so so funny. <laughs> <laughs> few years ago. <laughs> a few, uh, just a few, a little bit. Okay. What else? What comes to your mind, everybody, when you see this brand? The liver have Throw a punch, it. teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh the, the, this, uh, with a joint with chicharron, I don't know, say in English, chicharron. You can say pork. Pork, uh huh, pork is, is delicious. <laughs> the combination, you mean? The combination. Join it, isn't it? A combination, uh huh. Join, uh -huh. join is not, uh huh. <laughs> The combination is very, very, very good. Ah. <laughs> but only two, no more, no, no more, because you have a, uh, no, not good. <laughs> only two with a lot of chicharron pork. Uh, you know, I was checking and you can say this, grapes, or you can say crackling. Grapes. Crackling. Ah. Uh-huh. Grits or crackling, or if crackling. you want to say like chicharrones. So mm -hmm. you can use this both. So that's that's new for me. Okay. okay. So if you see everyone, you were talking about emotions. So brand personality means the emotions that a brand makes you feel. Again, this is up to each person. So you may feel positive emotions or totally negative emotions, okay? Now, let's move on to the next one, brand experience. The brand's experience, it depends on each person. For some of you might be positive, for some of you might be negative. Do you know these brands? Uh -huh. Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> yes. Have you ever used one of these ones? All of them. Yes. <laughs> All of them. Okay. So, what is your experience or how do you feel about this? Did you have a positive experience or a bad experience? What do you think? Oh. Uh -huh. For me, it's good. I have a contract on with you, with the company. Okay, so positive experience. Yeah. All right, that's sure. good. Excellent. Uh huh. In my opinion, um, Claro is a uh, popular, 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 popular uh, brand. It's not so so maybe uh this um, ship shipper no shipper Tigo is is good uh, signal mm -hmm. but this is very for me it's, it's it's expensive and the service como es servicio al cliente service customer service customer service is not good Movistar is a is a worst. <laughs> uh brand because the the service is very bad and on for my my work uh, i i need go a, a different um the, the department departments uh, department and mm -hmm. the movie movie signal is very very bad claro antigo is um is similar i can i can get signal uh, everywhere lot. Uh, um uh, no or everywhere. almost <laughs> everywhere <laughs> almost almost everywhere ah. but movie start not i am not recommend for nothing <laughs> <laughs> okay very good how about you everyone has any of you used movistar Yes, I agree with Hector. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because Claro, I think in my opinion, Claro have more coverage. Okay. Yes, coverage than Movistar Tigo. I don't know, but Claro, I think that is the best because it's, the price is good and 
and the coverage or signal do you have any more signal than others okay and the rest of you do you agree everybody so some of you can say yeah claro is good and maybe sir well it's not so good do you have any other opinion did you mm -hmm. uh, in my in my case i my personal number is Movistar and I don't have any problems just in some songs of, of the city of the, the country. But Claro, I have a Claro of my, from my company. Mm -hmm. And the, pro, the, pro, the unique problem is that in my office, I have a just one or two bars of signal oh, of Claro. Really? Yes, and, and I pass all the time in my office and I have- Yeah, you have no connection. Yes, uh -huh, but in general for me, Claro is, is, is better than most. So and you the, see uh-huh and the and the other i i didn't use the other companies all right very good thank you everyone so you see brand experience this is up to each person for some of you claro you had the service or the product and you say no it was good it works for me but some others might think a little bit different some people might have a very bad experience the same with the other brands right so the brand experience is up to each person for some people is positive for some people is negative okay and the last one brand differentiation this means what makes the brand unique for example, we have a lot of drinks, but why do you think that makes Coca-Cola unique? What do you think? Why or what's the reason why people prefer Coca-Cola instead of Pepsi or instead of another drinks? Maybe the formula than Coca-Cola is different than Pepsi, for example. Mm, very good. And, and the taste, the when flavor, you feel the, the taste. Uh-huh. Oh, All the right. Flavor, it's, it's totally different. It's, it's <laughs> unique, right? Okay. So how about Apple? What do you think that makes this brand unique? Because even when it is expensive, a lot of people prefer to buy it. So why? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Because the quality and the design of the mobile phone is, is Como, como diría que vale el precio que se paga. It's worth it. Yeah. Uh, the, okay. The quality is the best, the best over the other product, similar very, product. All right, very good. So imagine those brands are or have some unique characteristics that makes you feel or that makes you be on the top. So that's the meaning of brand differentiation. Doesn't matter that you have a lot of competitors, your brand is always on the top. Your brand has some characteristics that makes you unique. So is it clear everybody the meaning of these uh, words, of this vocabulary? Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. Excellent. So tomorrow, 
I can ask you the meaning of these words. So I hope all of you remember it. Now, before I continue, I'm going to check attendance. Sorry, I forgot to do it. I'm going to do it right now. So if you listen to your names, say present. Carlos Abrego. Carlos Abrego, no? Okay. Um, Christian Alexander. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, let's see, Erika Jasmine. I think she's listener, right? Okay, no worries. Um, Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Very good. Gabriel Beltran. Present teacher. Okay, Victor Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, Isabel Hernandez. Present Miss. Very good. Ivan Guzman. Present. Very good. Jamie Raquel. Present teacher. Very good. Um, Holman Giron. Holman Giron. Okay, um, Lucy Natalie. Present teacher. Okay, Magdalena Escalante. Present. Very good, Nelson Antonio. Present. Very good, Oscar Armando. Present. Okay, Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, Rosalina Alvarado. Oh, I think she's listener. Selvin Adonai. Okay. And Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Very good. Okay, let's continue then. Let's see. Let me share the presentation again. Now, we already checked some vocabulary about brands. Now it's time to practice asking questions. Yesterday during the practice, this was, a, this was a topic that gives you like some issues, but now we are going to improve it. We are going to check some questions, but in this moment, everyone, it will be only in simple present, okay? You know that when we ask questions, we have two options. We have the yes, no questions and the information questions. For example, if I say, are you happy? What type of question is this? Open questions, information question, or yes, no question? Yes, it's no question. Exactly. Yes, no question. This is a yes, no question. That means that you can only answer with yes or not. If I say, on the other hand, for example, um, why are you happy? What type of question is this? Is that a yes? Ah, this is an information, information question. question. Okay, so in this moment, we are going to use or we are going to focus on these ones, on the information questions, okay? Now, when we are using information questions, we have two options. We have questions with the verb to be, as in the example, or we can use a different type of verb. For example, why do you uh, study English, for example? Do I have the verb to be in this sentence? Yes or no? Yes, the do. Mm, but do is not the verb to be. Ah, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Uh -huh. Sorry. No worries. So, in this case, if you see, the verb is study. Do I have auxiliary? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Do. So, 
that's it's what we are going to study today. How we can create information questions in simple present using the verb to be and using any other verb, okay? So let's start. Please pay a lot of attention. This is a topic that you already studied. This is just a review. So it will be with a lot of practice. So let's start. Information questions or double H questions. That means that the first things that we need is a double H word. For example, where? What do I need after the double H word? Look. Mm, place. Auxiliary verb. Auxiliary. auxiliary verb. Excellent. After the auxiliary, what do I need? The person pronoun. Exactly. So I need the subject. Then what do I need? Complement. Mm, the, the, verb. Before... the verb and ah, infinitive. The verb. The, verb. the verb in infinitive. So the verb doesn't need changes because I already have the auxiliary. auxiliary. And at the end, after the verb, I need just a complement. Where do I study English? Or when do you study English? Do I have the verb to be in this sentence? Anyone? Yes or no? No. Not really. Remember, the verb to be is am, is, or are. That's the verb to be. But in these sentences, I don't have the verb to be. So that is something that you have to keep in mind. Si tenemos un verbo que no es el verbo to be, sino que es cualquier otro verbo, in that case, I need the auxiliary. That's something that you have to memorize. If you have a verb that is not the verb to be, you need the auxiliary. And what happens with the auxiliary if it is third person? What is the auxiliary? Us. Exactly. Do I need to add the letter S to the verb? If it is third person? No. Why not? Because the uh, use the auxiliary do That's or does. Perfect. Exactly. As simple as that. So that is the structure that you need to follow. Okay? Simple. Double H questions or double H words, auxiliary, subject, the verb in the base form, and the complement. Okay? Now let's do a practice. Remember, this is a review. Most of the time will be a practice. I'm going to give you some sentences and I want you to put the words in the correct order, okay? So. Whoa. Look at this. Does Sara live where? Huh, where is? Let's remember the correct position, the correct structure. What do I need first? Where? Where does? Okay. Where does? Look. Very good. So I have double H word, auxiliary, subject, verb in the base form. Simple. Okay. I need a volunteer. What will be the correct order in this sentence? First, what? What? Okay. What? Do. Do. The uh, noun at you. 
Okay, you. What do you eat, eat for breakfast? Very Bread. good. Look. What do you eat for breakfast? The same order. Double H word, auxiliary, okay. subject, verb, complement. Okay. Next one. Volunteer. What is the correct order here? When, when does when does when does come back come mm, it's missing come. something no, offer I no. think offer offer I think if, imagine that this is like a name, okay? Uh, offer mm -hmm. come back from home. Oh, if you see, it has, it, <laughs> I know, I know, it has capital letter. So that can give you an idea that is like a proper name. So okay. when does offer come um, back from work? work. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Come back from work. Very mm -hmm. good job. Very good job. How about this one? Why do? Okay, why do? Cats. 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 Run. Run. Run after mice. After, after mice. mice. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So, if you see everyone, it's not so difficult. You just have to memorize the structure. I know that grammar is not so exciting. <laughs> I know. So, but if you remember the structure, it will be easy, okay? Double H word, auxiliary, then in this case, I need the subject, don't forget that. Verb in the base form and just a complement, okay? Next one, what will be the question here? How do you, how do you, how make, do pizza? you make pizza? How do you? Make pizza, very good, that is the one. Okay, I will be asking individual, only the person I ask, only that person can answer. Let me ask to, 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 to Pamela. Pamela, what will be the question here? Um, how do kids? spend their time in the summer their time in the summer very good perfect Mela, can you pick someone please um fatima fatima what will be the correct question what eat Mm. Mm. Remember, after the double H word, what do I need? What do? Ah, very good. I need the auxiliary. Eat your parents. Mm. Okay, after the auxiliary, what do I need? Do I need the verb, the subject, or the complement? The subject. The subject, great. So what is the subject in this sentence? Your parents. All right, so what do your parents, and look, then I need the verb, what is the complement? For lunch. That's the one. Very good job. Very good job. Okay, Fatima, can you pick someone, please? Nelson. Thank you. Aha, uh -huh, Nelson. What will be the order here? Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Where? 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 Does uh -huh. some 
Mm. De. No. Okay. Set. Does set. No. Where okay. does. Set. Uh -huh. mm. Set is the verb. What do I need before the verb? Subject. Exactly. What is the subject? Sun. In this case, the sun is the full subject. Okay. This is like when we say, uh, oops, el sol, right? So the word the, it's part of the subject. Okay. So where does the sun set? Okay, easy, very good job. Nelson, can you pick someone, please? Holman. Holman, what would be the correct sentence here? Uh, when? Uh huh. When? When? When does your near? Okay, when does your near near? Hmm. Okay, I have the double H word, I have the auxiliary. It's missing the subject. What your would house. be the subject? Your house? Mm. When does your house? Your house is not the subject. What is the subject? Bus, bus. Bus, only bus or the bus? But stop. Okay, the bus. The so bus, look, I have the double H word, auxiliary, subject. Now I need the verb. What is the verb? Uh huh. What is the verb? Stop. Stop. Very good. When does the bus stop? What is the complement? Near your house. Very good. That is the correct one. Excellent job. Holman, pick one of your classmates, please. Um. I don't know. Can not the um, first person that comes to your mind. Hector. 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 Okay, Hector. What is the sentence here? Why? Okay. Why? Why do? Okay. Cry, uh, babies. Uh -huh. Cry at night. Very good. That is the one. Very good. Okay. If you see everyone, that's the structure that you need to follow. Okay. Information questions, simple present. You just have to remember. What do you need? Ah, I need the double H word. After that, okay, I need the auxiliary. Later, Ah, I need the subject. I need the verb and later the complement. Okay. If you follow that structure, if you memorize that structure, it will be easy for you to create a question. Okay. Let's do another practice. Look at here. I have the formula here. So let's create question. For example, okay, everyone, give me one double H word. Pick one. Mm -hmm. When. Okay, when. when. Okay, when. Then I need the auxiliary. Pick one auxiliary, do or does. With does, teacher. Okay. We are Going to use does. So remember, does is for third person. 
Let's pick a subject. What is going to be the subject? Your mother. Perfect. Your mother. Then I need the verb. Pick a verb. When does your mother... Uh-huh. Go to the bed. <laughs> Good. Go, that is the verb. And then I need the complement. Go to the bed. Look. When does your mother go to the bed? Easy. Yes or no? Practice. <laughs> That's the idea. So exactly as this sentence, I want you to create some other sentences. Okay. So in this moment, okay. we are going to practice. Question. I'm sorry. It's your questions. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Uh, the auxiliary do uh, or does. Uh, your usage is uh, for uh, questions. Yes, we are going to use it for questions in this case. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. If you see everyone, I don't have the verb to be anywhere. I only use different verbs. So if you are using different verbs, you need to use the auxiliary, okay? If you use the auxiliary does, you have to use third person. For example, your mother. Your mother is third person. If you use the auxiliary do, so you don't have to use third person. So you can use you or plural like your friends. Okay. So that is the difference between those auxiliaries. Now let's have a practice. I have here this exercise, I'm going to send you a link and I want you to write questions. Uh, the exercise has 10 questions, but it's too long. You will write only five, okay? No les voy a pedir que escriban las 10 questions, only five questions. So just follow the structure. Pick one double-edged word, pick one auxiliary, pick up subject and pick a complement. Okay? To do it easier, try to use the ones that appears here. Okay? You can use this double-edged word, you can use this subject, these verbs or complements. But if you want to use the different ones, perfect, you can do it. So I want you to write the questions right here. For example, the ones that we write. When does your mother uh, go to the bed? Perfect. And don't forget the question mark. Okay. So you have to write five questions. When you finish, you have to take a screenshot and send it on WhatsApp group. So I will read the questions and I will identify if the questions are correct or not. Is it clear the activity, everyone? Yes, I clear. How many questions will you write? Five questions. Five. Excellent. Five questions. Very good. Okay, I'm sending the link on WhatsApp's group, but also I'm going to send it here in the chat. <laughs> Open up the link. I already sent it on WhatsApp's group. I'm sending it here on Zoom. So everybody, let's go and write the questions. Go ahead. You can use the auxiliary that you prefer. You can use do or does. Just be careful with the subject, okay? Everybody has to do the activity. If you have a question, just let me know. You can use the expressions and the verbs that are on the exercise, or you can use difference, no problem. Just don't forget to take a screenshot and send it in the chat. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Uh, 
this is as the simple present, right? Yes. But the simple present is the is just do you age must do and does. In this case, yes, because remember that in simple present, that is the auxiliary that we need. If we are talking in simple past, the auxiliary is did. In future, the auxiliary is will. In simple present, the auxiliary is do or does. But in simple present, Mm -hmm. um we use to a uh, verb to be yes of course that's a good point in the simple present everybody we can also use the verb to be but in this moment first we are going to see sentences with the auxiliary after this practice we are going to see examples with questions using the verb to be. So you can see the difference. And how how identify when use when use the auxiliar and when use the be, verb to be? Very good question. How can you identify if you need the auxiliary or if you need the verb to be? If you see the verb to be, remember in simple present, cuáles son las formas del verbo to be in simple present? M is or are, right? Si ustedes ven esta forma del verbo to be en la oración, in that case, everybody, no auxiliary. Remember, the verb to be is like powerful. They don't need the auxiliary. But si en la oración ustedes no ven ninguna forma del verbo to be, si en la oración ustedes ven otro tipo de verbo, like for example, go, play, study, eat, or cualquier otro verbo. So in that case, you need the auxiliary do or does. That's the way that you can identify if you need the auxiliary or not. Is it clear? Yes? Yes. No worries. Ya les voy a mostrar some examples, everyone, de cuando vamos a usar questions with the verb to be. In this moment, that is what you have to memorize. For example, let's go back to the exercise. In this exercise, the ones that I sent the link, look at here in the verbs and complements. I have have breakfast, work, do, get up, study, go to work, go to bed, take a bus. Do you see the verb to be? Remember, ¿cuál es el verbo to be? Am, is, or are. ¿Pueden ver alguna de esta forma dentro de esta cajita? Not really, no. right? So, because we don't have the verb to be, we don't need the auxiliary, okay? Si en la oración dijese am or is or are, in that case, you have to forget the auxiliary. So don't worry, let's complete the exercise right now. And after this exercise, we are going to see some examples with the verb to be, okay? Don't worry, we are going to practice both with the verb to be and with the auxiliary. Go ahead. If you have another question, just let me know, please. Remember, don't complicate in this moment. Right now, don't use the verb to be, only a different verb. So write five questions, five questions, then take a screenshot and send it in the chat.
teacher, just for remember, mm -hmm. when when the verb is the complement, the the sub the object is in your own, is right? The verb is always a. Or which one do you mean? Okay, for example, when do you start to play, or when do you start playing? Oh, actually, both are correct, but. I don't want to get confused. You can use ing in this case because the meaning change. If you want, you can start to play or you can start playing. The meaning is a little bit different, but you can use ing in this scenario. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you have a question, everyone, just let me know. Only five questions. Then take a screenshot and send it in the chat. Okay, I see some of your classmates already finished. And actually I can see very good questions. I like that, very good. So everybody do the practice. Don't forget to take a screenshot and send it in the chat. Okay, in this moment, six people already finished. Very good job. I can see very, very good questions. Excellent structure. Very, very good. So everyone, remember, just follow the structure. Double H word, auxiliary, subject, the verb and infinitive, and the complement. Okay? If you have a question, just let me know.
If you have a question, just let me know, please. I want to everybody do the practice because I want to see the questions that you create. So if you had a mistake, I can correct it. If you have the run structure, I can correct it. Okay, so you can improve. But if you don't sure. do the practice, I won't be able to help you. Yes? The, the page that you send is live worksheet. Is it the name of the, the, in, in the internet? Website? We can, yeah, the website. Yes. Oh. And actually, everybody, let me share it. This website, Lead Worksheets, it's a very useful website that you can use. You can find all kind of exercise here. In this um, search bar, you just have to write the topic that you want to review. For example, imagine that you want to practice um, of course, grammar topics, right? So imagine that you want to practice simple present. Uh, you want to practice the affirmative and the negative sentences. You just have to write the topic and then search. And you will find different types of exercises. So you can see the exercises. You can pick the one that looks interesting for you. Okay, for example, look at this one. Here you got affirmative, interrogative, negative, short answer. So you can find different exercises. You complete the exercises. And later, you just have to click in finish. When you click in finish, you can check your answers and you can see your score. So it's a very nice website that you can use. Even you can have some listening uh, practice or reading practice. You just have to be specific. For example, imagine that you want to practice listening, okay? So you just have to write listening, simple presence, for example, okay? And there you will have some listening exercises related to simple presence. If, if you want to practice reading, okay, so you just have to write reading, practice, uh, again, simple present, okay? And there you will have some reading comprehensions about simple present. If you want to practice writing, you can also do it. However, with the writing practice, like if you want to write a paragraph or something like that, most of the time you won't be able to see your score because the answers might be different, okay? But this is a very nice website that you can use if you want to practice your English. I highly recommend it, okay? So let's- Thank you. Go. You're welcome. I can see some of your classmates already finished. So everybody, what do you think? It is easy or difficult to create these questions? What do you think? It's, it's... 50-50, <laughs> okay. And the other ones? Well, for me, the grammar structure is always... <laughs> <laughs> It's always always difficult. difficult. But how about this exercise? Just talking about this exercise that we just did. Is it difficult or easy? What do you think? Difficult. It was difficult? Yes. Okay. And the other ones? The exercise that we just did. Easy or difficult? Or 50 50. <laughs> mm -hmm. I need comodin. <laughs> okay. All right. But don't give up, everyone. Remember, during this week, we will get better. Okay. We will improve. Now, you just have to follow the structure. Okay. 
If you have another verb, just remember this structure. And this is what you have to memorize. Okay? Double-edged word, auxiliary, subject, verb, and complement. Okay? Memorize that structure and it will be easier for you. Now, as your classmates mentioned, but what happens if I have the verb to be? What do we need to do? Okay, let's see some examples when we have the verb to be. The most important things that you have to remember is when we have the verb to be, we don't need auxiliary, okay? That's the rule. Remember, the verb to be is powerful. The verb to be is very independent. They don't need auxiliary. So that's the rule. When you have the verb to be in the sentence, you don't need auxiliary, okay? Let's do a practice. Look at the first <laughs> sentence. Let's put the words in order. Sport is your favorite what? What is the first thing that I need? What do you think? WH. Ah, very good. The first things that I need always, the WH word. But in this case, I have the verb to be. Do I need the auxiliary? Yes or no? No, no, we don't. No. no. Instead of the verb to be, I'm going, I mean, instead of the auxiliary, I'm sorry, I'm going to put the verb to be. After the verb to be, what do you think? What do I need? Subject. Very good. I'm going to use the subject. Later, what do I need? What do you think? Do I need a verb? Yes, of course. But if I have already the auxiliary, oh. do you think I need another verb? No. Not no. really, no, right? We don't need. Exactly. I don't need another verb because I already have the verb to be. Mm -hmm. So what do I need? Complement. Perfect. I need the complement and the question mark. So, look at this sentence. What is the first word that I need? What? What? Is what? Uh -huh. is what is, that is the verb to be, the subject, and Your then favorite, favorite, favorite sport. sport. So look at the structure is a little bit different from the ones that we studied when we have a different verb. But in this case, I don't have auxiliary, all right? That is the rule. How about in the sentence number two? What do I need first? Look at the structure. How, how, how long? Oh, now, be I careful, do? be careful with this. With the verb to be, we have some special characteristics or special questions. For example, can I say, how are you old? Can I say that? No. No, not really. So, what is the correct question? How old are you? Ah, if you see in this type of questions, there are some phrases that they always go together. And this is the same example as when we have what time, okay? If you see this phrase, when we are asking, they always go together. Right? So the same is what happens here in how old. That phrase go together. Another example, eh, how much. If you see how much is a phrase that go together. 
Okay. Now look at the next one. Food what your is favorite. What is the correct structure here? What is your favorite what, food? What, what, is your favorite? Ah, what is your favorite, favorite food? Do I need auxiliary in this sentence? No. No. Why not? It's verb to be. Correct. Do I need another verb? For example, what is your favorite eat food? Do I need another verb? Yes or no? No. No. No, really, right? We don't need another verb because I already have the verb. Okay. Another one. What will be the question here? What is what is your address? Very good. What is your address? Again, double H word. Fair to be, subject, complement, and so on and so on. No auxiliary because I already have the verb to be. Teacher, the, the difference from simple present is a, a verb to be is a zero star. Uh huh. Present perfect is uh, present perfect. O sea, <laughs> it's a, Okay, no necessary verbs in the in the verb to be. Okay, in this case it's simple present. The present perfect is another one. But as you said, in this case, everybody, uh, the verb to be has two meanings: ser o estar. So, si ya tienen el verbo to be, ya no necesitan otro verbo. ¿Por qué? ¿Cuál es la estructura de una oración? Normalmente, ¿cuál es la estructura? Subject, verb, complement. Cuando estamos hablando en afirmativo. Esa es normalmente la estructura. ¿Sí o no? Right? Yes. So, ahora, ¿qué es lo que sucede? Y esto es a veces en lo que nos confundimos. Y aquí es donde quiero que ustedes sean eh, muy cuidadosos. So, subject, verb, complement. Eso es lo que yo necesito para tener... Una oración. What happens? A veces el verbo puede ser eh, el verbo it, right? Sometimes the verb is play. Sometimes the verb is sleep. But also the verb can be is. Sometimes the verb is are or am. So in the sentence, we can have different verbs, right? So if you have one of these, do you need the auxiliary? Yes or no? No, no. Cuando, yes. Cuando yes. Una pregunta, do you need the auxiliary si tienen uno de estos? Yes. 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 But si tengo uno de estos, necesito auxiliary? No. No. Exactly. The, the, idea, the idea is uh, uh, when you said verb uh, to be is, are, I, is synonymous, mm. uh, synonymous the verbs, right? Yes. Estos son verbos, everyone. Mm. También son verbos. Esos que están aquí arriba también son verbos. The different is, is, are, am. Esos son tipos de formas del verbo to be. Es el verbo to be, es el mismo verbo to be, solo que conjugado, right? That means, eh, for example, y eso se los explicaba yo a un grupo. And I'm explaining this in Spanish to be totally clear, aunque no debería. Cuando ustedes hablan in Spanish, ¿Cómo digo I am in Spanish? Yo puedo decir oh. yo estar, ¿está correcto? Yo estar feliz. ¿Puedo decir no. eso? No, yo no. estoy no. feliz. Decimos yo estoy. Pero si estoy hablando de ti, de tú, 
Digo, ¿tú estoy feliz? No. No, ¿cómo decimos? Tú estás feliz. Ah, estás feliz. y si digo él, ¿puedo decir él estás feliz? No, él está. Ah, so look es el mismo verbo to be, pero ¿qué pasa? Cambió con el sujeto, ¿sí o no? Sí. So that happens in English too. Si yo hablo de he, she, or it, cambia. Digo is. Si yo hablo de you, digo are. Si yo hablo de I, digo am. Pero es el mismo verbo to be. I don't know if it is clear, this part. Yes? Mm -hmm. So, cuando ustedes vean esto, is are or am, that's the verb to be. So, you don't use auxiliary. Pero si ven otro tipo de verbos como estos, so in that case, remember, yes, you need the auxiliary. Sí, do or does. Mm -hmm. Is it clear, everybody? Yes, 50-50, o ya vamos llegando por lo menos al 75%. Ajá. <laughs> uh <-huh>. 75%. <laughs> O no sé, qué díganme, mala, en, qué, díganme qué. en qué porcentaje estamos. Because, no, yo quiero que ustedes lleguen al 100%. Ok. So, ¿cómo vamos? What do you think? 50, 50, 60, or 90%. O vamos para abajo, 25%, my gosh. Between 65 and 65. 65%. <laughs> <laughs> that's something, that's something. <laughs> okay, vamos, vamos mejorando. At least little by little, but we are improving. I'll be, I'll be honest, I'll be honest. Yeah, but little by little, everyone, little by little. Anyone, do you have any questions so far? No. No questions? Ready for an exam? I, I asked because... Mm -hmm. When we have a question, uh, how uh, I know this, the question if uh, when verb to be or auxiliar? Mm -hmm. Easy. This is the same as in Spanish, everyone. If you listen to this question, ¿estás en tu casa? So what do you think? Am I using the verb to be in that sentence? ¿Estás en tu casa? ¿Está el verbo to be? Yes, it's to be. Yes. Yes. So, yes. Exactly yes. the same is in Spanish. Are you in your home? So when you listen to the form of the verb to be, you say, ah, that's the verb to be. Are. Perfect. So. I don't need the auxiliary. So it's basically the same as in Spanish. For example, if I say, eh, ¿Comiste tu desayuno en la mañana? Do you listen to the verb to be? Ser o estar? ¿Comiste tu desayuno en la mañana? There no. Is no. What is the verb? It, it's it's high. Ah, high. so it's the same in English. Do you eat? Your breakfast eat. every day? Breakfast. Eat. Ah, you listen. No hay is, no hay are, tampoco am. The verb is are. I'm um, sorry, in this case, the verb is comer. Eat. Okay, entonces, yes, I need the auxiliary. So, eso es lo que tienen que ir identificando. Okay? I know that, I mean, at the beginning is difficult, right? Because it's like a lot of process in our mind, but that's why we are practicing this topic, okay? Little by little, we are going to improve it. Um, is it clear? Do I have any other question, everyone? <laughs> no? Okay, let's do another practice. And in this case, we are going to create questions and we are going to combine verb to be with another verb. 
So I have here different celebrities. Let's start. We are going to do it in teams, boys and then girls. Boys, pick one celebrity, please. The Rock. <laughs> the Rock, okay. So we are going to ask him only in simple present. So we are going to omit these questions. Esto no lo vamos a hacer. And yeah, only in this one because we are not using another one. Okay. So The Rock says, my wife's name is Lauren. So boys, what is the question here? Para obtener esta respuesta. What, hmm? what, what is, is, what is your, your what is your name? What is, what is your, your white name? What is what your is wife's name? White name? Ah, look at here, everyone. What is your wife's name? Do I need the auxiliary? No. Oh. No, no, because no. I have the verb to be. Let's see the next question. I have one brother and one sister. What is the question? How many do you have? Do you, uh, no, how, how sibling do you have? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, how many brothers do you have? How many brothers do you have? Okay, another idea. Do you have a brother? Uh -huh. Do you have a brother? Do you have siblings? Do you have siblings? Look, actually, the questions that you mentioned are good, but because we have the word sister, the best question is, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Look, do I have the verb to be in this sentence? No. No, no. that's why I need the auxiliary. Okay, the next one. El dice, he says, ah, oh, my hobbies are exercising and fishing. What is the question? What is your hobby? What is what your is, hobby? What are, what what are, are your are, hobbies? Okay. What are your hobbies? Look at this. My hobbies are plural. Plural, plural so the question is in plural what are oh, your plural. hobbies oh. very good job boys nice job nice job okay girls is your turn pick a celebrity please uh-huh girls justin bieber Justin Bieber, okay. So here we got, well, some sentences in simple past. So we are going to omit the ones that are in simple past. So this one, no. Well, casi todas son in simple past. Okay. So the first one says, my last name is Bieber. So what is the question here? What is your last name? Ah, do I have the verb to be? To be, yes. Yes. What is... Do I need the auxiliary? No. No. Look, what's your last name? Very good job. Now look at the next one. I have a 165 million followers. How many followers do you have? Very good. Imagine in this sentence, what is the verb? The verb is? Wow. Have. Oh. Do I need the auxiliary in the question? Yes. I do need the auxiliary. How many followers do you have? Very good, very good, very good. Okay, boys, it's your turn. Let's pick another celebrity. Miss, Mrs. Jennifer Lopez. Okay. Mrs. Jennifer Lopez, so let's see. I think all the questions, well, these questions no, because it's in simple past. Okay, the first one, my family is from Puerto Rico. What is the question? 
Where is your family? Where is where, your family? Where no. uh, Where your family is from? Where, where your you family? From? Hmm. Okay, remember the structure. Where, then the verb to be. Where is uh, where your are family you from? from? Ah, much better. Where is your family from? Where's Excellent it? job. Then she said, I am 51 years old. What is the question 51. here? How old are you? What are you? Ah, very good. If you see, no auxiliary. Okay? Because I have the verb to be. My kids are named M and Max. What are your kids' names? What are your kids' names? Yeah, very good job. And the last one, I like comedy and drama movie. Do I have the verb to what? be in this sentence? No. What kind of what kind of movies do you like? Very good. What kind of movies do you like? So if you see, I have like. I don't have the verb to be, so I need the auxiliary. What kind of movies do you like? Very good job. Okay, girls, pick another celebrity, please. Uh -huh. Ariana, Grande. Ariana Grande, perfect. Okay, let's see. I think all the sentences, yes, all the sentences are in present. The first one, my hair is blonde. What is the question here? What do you what think? What color is your hair? What color is your hair? Do you agree, girls? Yes, perfect. So look, I have the verb to be. So the question is with the verb to be. No auxiliary, okay? Next one, she says, I live in Los Angeles. Where do you live? Ah, very good. Look, leave. I don't have the verb to be, so I need auxiliary. Ah, my favorite food is sushi. What is your favorite food? Ah, very good. So if you see everyone, verb to be, we ask with the verb to be. And if you have the verb to be, no auxiliary. Next, I got to sleep at 10 p.m. What time do you go to sleep? Ah, very good. What time do you go to sleep? Perfect. And the last one, I'm five feet tall. What is the question here? Remember, do you have the verb to be in this sentence? Yes. Okay. What is your toe? I don't remember. <laughs> what is your... What is your toe? Your feet or your age or your... No. Is your height? Okay. What is your... Altura in English, I don't know. <laughs> you can say height, but... Another idea, everyone. How tall are how tall are you? How tall are you? Very good one. That's the correct. Excellent. So everyone, the idea, and this is what I want you to remember. If you have the verb to be, please no auxiliary. It's not necessary. But if you have another verb, you need the auxiliary. Okay, it's a little bit more clear. Yes, everyone. 
a little bit more clear. Yes. Yeah. Yes, teacher is yes, there. Okay, I hope so. Okay, before continuing, because we have another practice, I, I need to check attendance again. So everyone, when you listen to your names, say present. Uh, let's see, Carlos Abrego. Present. Okay, very good. Christian Alexander. Christian Alexander. Okay. Eh, Erika Yasmin. Oh, she's listener. Okay. Eh, Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Very good. Gabriel Beltran. Present teacher. Very good. Hector Francisco. <coughs> Present teacher. Very good. Isabel Hernandez. Present. Very good. Ivan Guzman. Present. Very good. Jamie Raquel. Present teacher. Good. Holman Giron. Present. Very good. Lucy Natalie. Present. Excellent. Magdalena Escalante. Present teacher. Good. Nelson Antonio. Present. Good. Oscar Armando. Present teacher. Very good. Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Nice. Rosalina Alvarado. Oh, she's listener. Sorry. Selvin Adonai. Okay. And Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Very good. Okay, everyone. In these few minutes that we have, we are going to have a role play. Okay. I want you to imagine that you are in a cafe. Okay, it can be the coffee cup, Starbucks, I don't know. You are in a cafe with new friends, okay? The people that will be with you, it's, they are new friends. So you want to know them a little bit better. So let's have a casual conversation. Ask as many questions as possible, but Please, only in simple present. In this moment, don't ask in simple past, only in simple present. You can use the verb to be, or you can use a different verb with the auxiliary. Things that you can ask, remember, if you are talking with new friends, you cannot do so, some deep questions, but you can talk about jobs, you can ask them about their jobs, about their families, you can ask about hobbies, you can ask the opinions about sports or politics or weather. I don't know. I just want you to ask as many questions as possible. Try to ask information questions. Okay? Is it clear, the role play? Yes, ¿se entiende lo que van a hacer? Yes. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to send these instructions always on WhatsApp's group. Remember, this is a casual conversation. Let's try to sound natural. Like, hello everyone, how are you? And then let's start the conversation. I want to everybody in the group ask questions. I want to everybody in the group try to answer questions too, okay? If your classmates um, ask a question that maybe is not correct, so you can help them. You can try to tell them, hey, you know what? That is not the correct structure. The correct structure is this one, okay? So try to help each other. That's the one. Okay, let's go to practice, everyone. Let's go. Everybody enter to the breaking rooms, okay? Todos, todos entren a los breaking rooms. Um, okay. in the in the chat in the 
in the in the WhatsApp. WhatsApp, okay. Yes, the role play. Yes. Okay, we have a friend and we are sharing uh, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Hector. How are you? I'm I'm fine. Happy. And how how about you? I'm great today. And you, Fatima, how are you? I'm fine, Mirna. A little uh, stress. <laughs> stress because we have simple pass. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is your hobby? What is your favorite hobby, Fatima? Uh, my favorite hobby is dance. Dance? Oh, yes. Nice hobby. I like it. <laughs> but what? 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 Uh -huh, sorry. Uh -huh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I think I think the similar question for <laughs> Okay, go you. ahead. Go. What what is or what are the favorite music for dance, Fatima and Mirna? For me, I like bachata, reggaeton, bachata. And salsa. <laughs> yeah, reggaeton. the same. <laughs> no reggaeton, no. <laughs> no. And you, Mirna? Yes, for me, I like the dance salsa, um, cumbia, and merengue. <laughs> mm. Yes. <laughs> But when I stay in a party, yes, or but I I I I don't have uh like a hobby like Fatima say. Mm. Uh, you can you can dance electronic music. No, no. no. just in the in the discotheque maybe, but no. No, and discotheque, no, only <laughs> because in yes. the house is uh, it's impossible, <laughs> I think. Yes, I think. When I was young, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Hector, what is your ho your favorite hobby? Um, because I'm old, <laughs> no. I have to uh, see movie and and read a a book, I think. But I like. Uh, dance to, but only uh, cumbia and salsa. I can dance merengue because it's most uh, quickly, I think. It's more. Yeah. <laughs> ah, the, the, the ritmo. <laughs> uh -huh, the, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. The... Do you work? I work for an uh, industrial company here in Acajutla. At the port. Yes. Really? Wow, you are amazing. Your job is amazing, <laughs> actually. <laughs> okay. Are you uh, do you see do you see how do you say barcos bot? Do you see both every every day? Yes, every every day. Actually, I I dream with can uh, seal in a boat in my life someday. Someday, I uh, really dream that. Oh, you need to. Um, you need to visit Acajutla then. <laughs> actually, I visited that. The, uh, actually, okay. I visited this place. Okay. So, no, that place. I visited that place. Okay. With Logos. Do you remember the boat Logos of Hope? Yes. Yes, I remember. Gabriel, can you ask? I don't know. I don't know, Gabriel. 
can speak. Gabriel, can you hear us? Are you listening us? Can you hear me? Yes, 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 I can hear you. I believe okay. she has problem with, with you. Yes. With he. he. <laughs> okay. It's a he. <laughs> So, okay, where do you live? Where do you live? <laughs> Guys, where do you live? I live in San Jacinto. I don't know oh. if you know. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know what it is. And what yeah. about you, Erika? Where do you live? <laughs> when I say where I live, Jamie told me that I am rich, but I'm not. Because oh, I live in Colonia Escalón. Ah, okay. And I don't know why she <laughs> said that. I work in Colonia Escalón. I, oh, really? Yes. Nice. Where? Um, uh, in the 91 uh, Avenue. Um, it's close to the Torre Futura. Torre Futura. Actually, I live two streets from the Torre Futura. In what what number of the street? Forty-two. Ah, the, the, the street and it is eighty-three. Ah. Orient. Yes. Yes. No. I know where is it. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay. Cool. And how about Jamie? Where do you live? I live in La Libertad, near <coughs> to uh, near to Puerto La Libertad. Oh, close to the beach. <laughs> or <Yeah>. no? <laughs> Be careful uh, with that sound. No. It's, it's not beach. It's beach. <laughs> hello. Be careful. Hi. Hello. 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 Yeah, can you hear Hello, us? Hello, Gabriel. Hello. I couldn't say how do I repeat pregnant question? How do you for the bar? Yes, I think do exercise is uh a good, a good way to keep healthy. Okay. Uh, how tall are you? I am thirty eight years old. How tall are you? How tall are you? How tall? How, how, how old or how tall? Tall. Ah, tall. How, how tall are you? Uh, I am one meter, maybe 65 centimeters. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Tell me. I have a doubt. Mm -hmm. If someone asks me what is your favorite hobby, then I can I want to say I I play soccer. No, I I like soccer play. But if, if I want uh, that I do exercise, how can I say? Because I was thinking about it because I say, I like to soccer play and also I do exercise. That's but, good. I mean, if you have more than one <laughs> hobby, you can tell all your hobbies. So for example, you can say, I have different hobbies. 
For example, I like to play soccer. I like to do exercise. And then you can continue mention all the hobbies that you have. No problem. Okay, but, but the question was, uh, what is your what is your favorite hobby? Is mm -hmm. was in in singular. Remember, yes, but mm -hmm. bird to be. Mm -hmm. So but, in this I case, do, do, do exercise. Yes, of course you can do it because remember, in this case, the question is, what is your favorite hobby? You can use my favorite hobbies. R, and then you start mentioning play soccer, do exercise, watch movies. So no problem. You can answer in that way. Okay. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, everybody, we have two more minutes. So ask questions about family or about job. I want to listen to those, those type of questions, please. Okay. Okay. Okay, Isabel. Vamos. Is your turn. Ask about your father, your mother. Pregúntenle si tienen niños. Okay, so those type of questions I want to listen to. Um, one, one easy. What is your address? My address? I, I'm from Zacatecoluca City. Is is near to San Vicente. What is your favorite movies? Uh, my my favorite movie is En busca de la felicidad. And is is starting with us right now, actually. Yes. Because if I born again, if if I born again again, and I know what is the the way for for the songs and the marriage, maybe I maybe I never maybe I, maybe I never may have children. Yes. Yeah, well, yeah. after after yeah. pass away. very very deep questions. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> so very sorry, it was goes. your recommendation. <laughs> no, I, I liked it. As long as you ask perfectly, but unfortunately, we don't have more time. Let's go back to the main okay. room. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Magdaleno. Have it's a good a, night. It's a great pleasure. Time's up, everyone. Let's go back to the main room. Let's go back, let's go back. Okay, very interesting questions I was listening to. Okay, how was the practice? Was easy, difficult, 50-50? What do you think? Very interesting. I'm at home. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. There is a few. What do you think? Did your classmate ask information questions? Yes or not? Did your classmate use the correct structure? Yes or no? Yes. She's yes. So smart. Very good. Very good. So listen, uh, we don't have more time. So remember that during this week, we are going to continue practicing this topic. I'm going to share three links. 
so you can practice. The first one is this, so you can practice questions. You just need to complete the question using the correct auxiliary, the correct position. This one is the same information question using the auxiliary, and this one is using uh, information questions, but with the verb to be. You can write the correct question and then you can click here in check. So the system is going to tell you if the answer is correct or not. So if the answer is incorrect, you can check here in show and it will tell you what the correct uh, sentence is. Okay, in all of the exercises, you can see the sentences, you can see the correct answers, so you can practice, okay? I'm going to send it on WhatsApp group in your free time, you can practice, all right? Now, eh, I just had the winner for tonight is Mirna. So Mirna, oh. just, <laughs> you had to stay. The rest of you, you are free to go. Have a good night. Study, please, and see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good night, night everyone. You're welcome. Good, good night. night, good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Take care. Only Mirna stays. All right, Mirna, how are you? Good, thank you. <laughs> So this is your moment, Mirna. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, this moment is just to clarify some questions that you may have, okay, about the class, about the topic, or if there is a question about the platform, any comments that you may have. So this is just your moment. Uh-huh. Right. Tell me. Uh, no, I don't have any question. Miss, now just the, in the platform when I have a question, I I try to write you on a personal WhatsApp because I I think that some some in the in the platform you explain us that it was some mistake when when we try to do the exercise, but. Uh, that's all no no for now no i don't have any question for the platform and the course i like the course i think that i i improve my english because it's important to me <laughs> improve That's my great. english and it's good that you that you have a time for for us and and explain that the the thing that really we we are to to know at, at this moment because we are in intermediate, but I think that the grammar is very complicated for us. <laughs> I know. Because, yeah, because it's the structure. I think that in my in my case, that the, the problem is that the structure, when I try to structure, when I try to write the structure and, and simple present and present continuous and present past, past perfect, et cetera, because, we do, because you have a, a lot of rules, a lot of uh, exceptions too, I think. And this is the complicated, but, but, uh, but, uh, but now I am really happy to, <laughs> to, to you because you, you have a time to, to re, repasar, I don't know. Review? Review, sorry, review mm -hmm. the, the thing that we 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 are we are see we are saw in the past or we saw in the past, but now is 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 a review. <laughs> I know, and you know this is um, this is a very common situation. <laughs> Let's call it like that, because sometimes when we are in the beginners uh, or in the first levels, we are like with a lot of information, right? For example, when you are in the beginner, vemos demasiados topics. Oof, a lot of topics. <laughs> exactly. And for someone that is starting, it's like, wow, I have to memorize all these things. So it's difficult. That's why when we get to intermediate level, it's a little bit confusing. 
because yes. there are some doubts that we didn't answer at the beginning. So we are continue making the same mistakes. And that's why mm -hmm. when we are here in the intermediates, we have some doubts, we don't understand very well. So intermediate level is for that, to improve those areas that there are still with some doubts, with some issues. So that's why we are here. And that's why I like to take some time from the class because I consider that it's important. And yes. if you see, you are not the only one. Your classmates are the same. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, this is, the grammar is complicated. Yeah, and, and in my case, I think grammar and vocabulary sometimes because I think that I don't have enough vocabulary <laughs> and I try to in my mind, I try to look the the best <laughs> the best word sometimes. But I think that this practice we need to more practice, practice, and practice. <laughs> that you I say, <laughs> yeah. The more you practice, the more you talk, the more you will improve. So my recommendation about vocabulary that's difficult. So every time that you don't know a word, dictionary and write it down. So you can review the vocabulary, so you don't forget it. Pero si nos quedamos así como que, ay, ¿cómo se decía? I don't know. <laughs> and we continue talking. It's like I'm talking and ay, no sé cómo decir café. Uh, so ni siquiera lo busco en el diccionario. So that is a mistake, okay? Yes, so if yes. you don't know a word, stop let's go to the dictionary that's the way that we are going to improve our vocabulary okay? yes yes and, and that's it I'm, i don't have more questions about no. the cars no about <laughs> the course nothing and thank you for for your time and i appreciate that that you explain or the review that grammar specific grammar with us mm -hmm. My pleasure. You are doing a great job. I have a very positive feedback for you because you always participate in the class. I can see you during the breaking rooms that you are always practicing with your classmates. So you are doing a great job with the platform. I mean, I have no problem with that. You are doing great. So keep going. Okay, continue okay. like that. And I want you to see, I mean, I, I want you to pass to the next level. Okay, okay. I want you to continue improving. Okay? Yes, thank you so much. Thank Very you. good. Okay, Mirna, so we are going to stop here. Thank you so much for your time. Have a good night and okay. see you tomorrow. You too. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. Good night.